Hey everyone, it's Amaya, and today I'm going to be talking about my April favorites. And so, as you can see, May has just started, so a lot of these products I have been loving in the past uh, month, and uh, that I've been using a ton as spring is starting to um, come upon us, so let's get started. So, the first set of products, actually, are these new brushes that I got a couple days ago. In the mail and they're by the brand Beauty Widget which is actually a brand that I've never heard about before and um, I got a pack of I think 10 of their brushes and they're absolutely amazing I've been using them the past couple days and they're so soft and they were actually for such a great price um, they came in a set of 10 for $35 and I thought that was a very good deal so I'll just show you what they look like so this is what um, the contouring brush looks like and each of them has um, their name on them and their use um, I don't know if you can see that but this one says um, angled contour so it came with one of these and actually my favorite one in the set is the rounded um, foundation brush and I've been using this every day since I've got it um, and, and then it comes with a couple other brushes like the um, like this one which is the powder setter and um, another angled one um, so I've really been loving those and I'll put a link in the description on if you want to buy those online because I did get them on Amazon so I'll put the link there the next thing that I also received in the same package as those also from Amazon was the um, the Balm Mary Luminizer and this is very very popular a lot of people here on YouTube really enjoy this and I just happen to be one of them this is an absolutely gorgeous highlight um, it is just kind of a champagne -y, peachy color and um, just the reflection on it is absolutely gorgeous I'm wearing it right now this is a product that I actually rediscovered and it's a drugstore product that I didn't use for a very long time because it got back into a different moisturizer that I was using every day and um but I've recently gotten back to using this one because the other one has been drying out my face just a tiny bit like it doesn't really moisturize as well as it used to now that my skin has become super super dry over the winter so this product is a CVS brand um calming daily moisturizer and it just looks like this and um, it's actually on the shelf right next to the Neutrogena one that has basically the same packaging because it is actually a dupe for that product and I find that they are absolutely the same. They do the same thing for my skin and one is a lot cheaper. So I tend to just get that one. Um, my face has just been very, very dry and very... Um, I've been having a lot of acne on my forehead, so I've kind of had to change around my skincare and makeup products to accommodate that. So next on my favorites list is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and it just looks like this. And um, I wanted to try this out before I got the full size, so when I was at Sephora, I decided to get the smaller bottle of this. So this one is a... Um, one fluid ounce and I'm pretty sure the larger one is maybe three fluid ounces. It's like a very, it's like a, a good size bottle and I probably will be getting a full size of this after I run out of this but we'll see how I feel about it after this whole thing runs out because then again, like I only use a couple spritz of this each day, so it should last me quite a while. So I have been finding that powder and setting powder, loose powder, isn't working as well on my skin, like I said, because my skin is really dry and also I have a lot of acne on my forehead that is being covered up every day. And I'm finding that loose powder really is making me look very powdery, especially up close. And um, a lot of the times in photographs, you can see white powder on my face, even when I wipe off all the excess. So um, a way to solve that and also make my makeup look a little bit more dewy I have been using substituting a powder for a setting spray so instead of powdering my whole face after I'm done doing my makeup I use a setting spray on everywhere and then use a setting powder just for under my eyes and on my forehead and on my chin and sometimes on my nose if it's looking just a tiny bit oily but I used to have combination skin but now it's really mostly just dry skin so I've um, had to kind of cut down on lo using loose powder and use more of a setting spray and it does make my makeup look so much dewier throughout the whole day and it keeps it on the whole day which is really great the next product I wanted to talk about is a new primer I got and it's the that gal by benefit and it just looks like this and I find I found ugh, I found that the packaging of this product is quite unique I've never seen anything like it I was quite like hesitant to buy this because just because I have never seen a packaging like this on a primer. Um, so basically, this is what the the top of it looks like. It's tiny little holes. And then you um, screw up the bottom 
and it comes out at the top just like this and then you put it all over your face and um, I usually do like two small streaks here, two small streaks here, one here, nose, and then three on my forehead. It makes my foundation look so much more flawless than it used to, and um, it really does have a brightening element to it that a lot of primers don't have because it has that pinky tone underneath it. And so um, for a while I had um, a couple days where I was only wearing moisturizer and primer because my face was just getting way too dry and I needed to have nothing but moisturizer and primer on it. Um, so that it can, I could just let my skin breathe and be natural for a few days and it did actually help my acne and my dryness to go down on my face. So when I was wearing only that primer, it did actually brighten my skin even when I was just wearing it on its own. And that's what the lady at the benefit store said to me also is that you can also use it as a liquid highlighter if you really want to, like a very light highlight. And it does just kind of bring a new glow to my face that I didn't have before I started using it because before I was only using moisturizer and not an actual primer and now I do moisturizer, primer, then foundation. The next product that I want to talk about is a foundation and I just threw it. The next product that I want to be talking about is a foundation and it is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and I'm in the shade 205 and it's described fresh complexion oil free foundation and um, I'm in 205 natural beige and it says one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. I thought that it was causing my flaky and dry skin and it actually um, was mostly just my skincare routine and how I kept changing products and not really um, being consistent with my skincare routine and so that played along um, with the tools I was using to apply this. I was uh, um, using a fake beauty blender and also um, just not applying it the right way and it just wasn't working for this product. So I was about to throw this product out. I hated it at the beginning of when I started to use it. I just waited a couple months. I just like, I was like, okay, let's, let's keep it and try it out in a couple months and see how it works. And I did try it out a few weeks ago and it is amazing. It is so good. It looks so flawless on my skin all day and like I'm wearing it right now and this is after an entire day at school like I have been you know doing stuff all day next another benefit product that I have absolutely been loving lately is the benefit roller lash and everyone has heard about this but I'll just show you again just because the packaging is so cute I've gotten a little bit uh, it's gotten a little bit dirty up here but basically it looks like a hair curler and um, I'll just quickly show you what the wand looks like. It was a, it's a very interesting wand because I had a lot of trouble like finding really the best way to be using this. There are like two sides to it. Like there's one that curls in this way and then one that curls kind of like on the outside. And so it took me a really long time to find the best way to use this. I actually do still use um, an eyelash curly just because I think it gives my eyelashes the best natural shape that a lot of people's lashes normally do, but mine don't. So I actually do curl them before I use this anyway, but um, it really, really helps the volume and the curl of my lashes because what I find most difficult with mascaras is that it gives me the length but not the curl. So this really... Um, it holds and keeps the curl all day and I really really like the formula of this it's not really that clumpy and I just really like the finish of it and it actually does come off a lot easier than benefits um, other mascaras like for example I have their reel right here and it like I really like the formula of the mascara it's just really really hard to get off without having the the eye makeup remover specifically designed for it and I don't really want to buy that. So I just thought this was a lot more convenient to have and to use as everyday mascara. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that this was helpful for your next Sephora outing or CVS outing or whatever. And um, I actually, my next video will most likely um, be my get ready with me for prom. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make one in between that but who knows. Something might change. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see how this goes. All right. Bye.